<laughs> oh, honey. I want to be supportive, but I, I just don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Not a word, or I'll just oh, scream. I don't want to scream. I want to sit here and cry in peace. Okay. Churches. Uh, there's a bar down the street. Oh, honey. Drinking isn't the answer. I don't need a drink. I need a bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Do you have a car? No, I came with Jack's family. Didn't you? You're not serious. I haven't driven in years. In Los Angeles, I pay people to do that for me. We'll have to walk it. Really? Is this pitiful? I mean, <laughs> this was so not the way I saw this day going. There must have been signs I missed, but where? Everything seemed fine in L.A. the week before. Except for the fact we were there to visit my mother. She can't be as bad as all that. This is the same woman who missed my graduation for a business lunch. So... Whatever you do, please don't start taking her side today, okay? I couldn't handle that. Never. Your side all the way. How long since you've seen her? How long have I lived in Boston? Almost two years? Yeah, almost two years. The most peaceful almost two years of my life. You've got to relax. We'll meet your mother, we'll go to dinner, we'll tell her the news, and that'll be just fine. We have three issues left before our 25th anniversary issue. And it's got to be special. Who was hot when we started? And where are they now? Cheryl. We're doing features on the cast of Urban Cowboy and Who Shot JR? JR who? Remind me to fire you later. <laughs> Kurt, photo layouts. Mount St. Helens. Reagan, John Lennon. Fine. And for the cover of Face, someone the competition hasn't touched. That movie star who's in seclusion, Amy, what's her name? Who slept with, you know who? She's a nun in the Italian Alps, vow of silence. Interview unlikely. <laughs> okay, then get me an Elvis, a Janis Joplin, someone. I can't do this alone, people. I want access to someone we can't get access to. Today that you were coming in? <laughs> oh, it was today. Right about now, oh, actually. I've been so looking forward to this visit. Aw. Is that really how you're wearing your hair these days? You didn't tell me you were bringing a guest. Um, yes, I, I did, Mother. You put me on hold. This is Jack Wicker. Jack? This is my mother. Nice to finally meet you, Mrs. Bates. Oh, no, no. You must call me Marla. And aren't you the handsome one? My daughter's taste is definitely improving. If you're smart, you'll keep this one. Oh, well, um, actually... That's why we're here. Surprise! I, um, need to excuse myself, if, if that's okay with you. Help yourself. I find out about him the same day I discover you're engaged. How long have you known this man? Uh, we've been dating for over a year. I haven't told you about him. It's because... But you know how you are. No, how am I? 
No one is ever good enough for me. Well, if you're talking about that electrician... He was a computer engineer mother. And his company is number two in software today. Okay, right there. Right there. Number two. We didn't come for your blessing. If it had been up to me, I might have just gone ahead and done it. But Jack insisted on meeting you. Well, I guess I should thank my lucky stars for Jack. <sighs> Ah, oh, old friends of my family. <laughs> Small world. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what did I miss? That was my question, too. Mom's feeling insecure. Uh, I love your daughter, Mrs. Bates. Oh, Marla. Mrs. Bates is fine for now. <laughs> I've heard so much about you from Shannon. So you wanted to see for yourself, did you? He didn't mean it that way. I know, he's much too polite. Well, if you're serious about this wedding, why don't we plan it for next winter? Oh, um, better yet, the following spring. We'll have it right here in Beverly Hills, and I'll handle everything. Mom, the wedding is next week. Next week? Since Jack's family is all in Boston, and all I have is you, we're having the service there. Maybe just one more. Of course, ma'am. I'm assuming you'd like to attend? Sure. Where else would I be? How can you ask that? And you, you don't want any help? It's all arranged. The church, the food, the flowers. My parents have taken care of everything. Oh. I guess the only thing left for me is to buy a gift for the happy couple. How about a honeymoon? Uh, Jack's made the plans already. Two weeks. On a small island in the Caribbean. Sandals and seaweed? When you could have Rio, Vienna, Rome? It's privately owned and impossible to get into, and the Wickers had to pull a few strings. They know people. <laughs> we know people who know people. Why am I not surprised? Ah, oh, isn't it lovely? Like a garden. Or the rose parade. <laughs> I understand Mr. Bates is a no-show. Oh, it has been for a couple of decades. I can't imagine today will be any different. How awful that must have been. A child needs a father. Thank heavens Jack has always had Randall here. He's a brick. Yes, that was my first impression. Mom, I can't get this on. Oh, Help. of course, darling. <laughs> Mama's here. So, Dr. Wicker, uh, are you a real doctor or is that an academic title? I'm a podiatrist. Mm. We've always joked that Jack will one day follow in his father's footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> Podiatry, feet, you know. No, no, I get it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, one hour. <laughs> My baby. Hmm. So, will he, will Jack become a doctor as well? He hasn't decided exactly what he wants to do with his life. No sense rushing a boy into something he hates. Mm, like gainful employment. <laughs> and your daughter, well, we just love her. She has such potential. Hmm. Yes, I've always thought so. I wish you'd have let me go shopping with you. All the designers I know, you could have had something so special. Mom, please don't ruin this for me. Just this once. I love this dress, and I love Jack. But is this really what you want, this life? The Wickers make Jerry Falwell look liberal. You can't judge him from his family. We have so much in common. We do everything together. Tennis, hiking, rafting. And after you're married? Not much money in rafting. He certainly isn't hurting for money. He certainly isn't hurting for his family's money. When you get to know him, you'll see what I mean. He's wonderful. Yeah, well, if he's good enough for you, that's good enough for me.
Really? You mean that? I have your blessing. Of course you do. Oh. <laughs> mm. I only had a father to give me away. Fifteen minutes, man. My palms are sweating, <laughs> throat's closing up. Is it I do or I will? It's I surrender. I don't believe this. I hope to find you on a plane or a bus. Instead, I find you still there. Damn it, Larry. This is the biggest day in your daughter's life. No. No, I will not. You should have been here to tell her yourself. or richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? I absolutely do. And do you, Jackson Thomas Wicker, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to cherish from this day forward, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? Uh, can I, uh, can I talk to you? <sighs> Sorry, uh, just, just give us a minute here. Yeah. What's wrong? What is it? I can't do it. I'm sorry, but I can't get married. I've been thinking it over and-, and Thinking it over? When? In the last 10 minutes? What did she tell you? Who? My mother. What did my mother say to you? This has nothing to do with your mother. But she was right. Back in LA, she said we were rushing through it and she was right. I'm not ready. My mom and dad are ready, but I'm not ready. I'm not marrying your parents. It's the whole freedom thing. And not just for me, you know? You too. And I've been thinking about going to Switzerland for a while. Oh, the slopes are supposed to be amazing this year. You're dumping me for a ski slope? You'd rather throw yourself down a mountain than marry me? It's not you. It's me. But I'm not a bad person, I'm just confused. I'm really, really sorry. And if you could maybe just explain to everybody. So,
Oh, I don't know. Maybe. No. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if this were a courtroom, I'd plead temporary insanity. I mean, my mother and me on my honeymoon? Oh, what was I thinking? Mom saw it as a chance to hit every boutique on Rodeo Drive and came back with a wardrobe that would have made Carmen Miranda blush. You bought all this just for the trip? Or just a few things I thought might come in handy. Yeah, only if you're opening for Don Ho. An afternoon by the pool? Yeah, with that blouse, I think the darker, the better. Shannon, I promise this will be the perfect trip. I'll loosen up. I'll be as laid back as I possibly can be. You. Um, how should I pack this, Miss Bates? Well, maybe I'll wear it. I'll find something to match. What do you think? Is it me? You're not serious. This isn't Paris, Mom. Well, it's not Iraq either. Look, if you're not up for this, now's your chance to catch a plane home. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I want to, I do. Thank you. There aren't any windows. We can zip them in later if it cools off. Zip them? Buckle up and hold on. Hold on to what? No! This isn't at all bad. Ooh, nice butt. Mom. Well, it is. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. Enjoy your stay. Oh, we will. <laughs> Mom. Um, so it's not Mr. and Mrs. Wicker? No, it's Miss and Mrs. Bates. That's Ms. Ms. Bates. Uh, we understood this was going to be a honeymoon trip. No, he had a, a change of plans and is somewhere over Switzerland right about now. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Right? Follow me. I'll be right behind you. Excuse me. I understand Nick Tercel owns this hotel. I suppose he wouldn't be available to say hello. Oh, you know him, do you? Oh, well, not really. I'm just a huge fan. Um, Mr. Trussell values his privacy, but should I see him, I'd be happy to tell him that you've been asking about him. Oh, no. I'm sure I'll bump into him sooner or later. The trace. The eagle has landed in absolutely nowhere. But... 
I'll be sending the tapes just as soon as I get the interview. Over and out. <laughs> Everything's inside the bedroom, ma'am. Oh, I'm not a ma'am. I'm a Marla. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, ma'am. Have you worked here long? Most of us just work here summers. I've been here a few. I'll bet you know people. <laughs> like, say, the owner? Um, Nick something? Mr. Tercel. Yeah, sure. <laughs> would you do me a favor? I would so like to meet him while we're here. I don't know. He's a... Pretty private guy, if he found out he... No, no, no. We don't have to even tell him that we talked. Just point him out. I'd be so appreciative. I make no promises, but I'll see what I can do. That's all I have. looking brighter already don't you think what have you got there happy honeymoon from blue moon bay oh sweetheart we could talk if you like <laughs> yeah um, we've never been very good at talking it tends to take us places we don't want to go but you haven't so much as said his name since that day. That can't be healthy. Don't you want to yell or scream or cry or something? <sighs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. No. No, you know what? This is perfect. After what I've been through, I deserve this. I intend to enjoy myself, starting right now. Let's unpack. That's my girl. Hey. Sweetheart, don't put those in a drawer. They'll wrinkle. Hang them up. Oh my. Swim with the stingrays. Horseback by sunset. Discover the bay. Parasailing. I'm exhausted just reading this thing. You had your chance to back out. Uh-huh. Yep. That's right. I did. And this all looks so wonderful. But tonight, let's ease our way into it. Okay, let's start by dressing up. We'll go to the very best restaurant they have here. Something really special. Ah, huh. well, looks like tonight is your lucky night. Ha, ha, ha. Here you go. Everything all right with your room? Yes, thank you. Well, if you need anything, my name is Adam. I'm Shannon. Are you here by yourself? I mean, to poor your mom. Please tell me that's your mom. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's my mom. No, uh, no husband, no boyfriend to spoil you? Just my mom. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> Out here, that's a child, of course. It's your uh, first time on the island? First time. Any advice? Yeah, watch out for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's mostly kidding. Oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> Psst. Hey, is that... Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Yeah, he, uh, he gave me an extra portion of wild boar. What is that? Some strange 
island courting ritual? Three hours ago, you thought he had a cute butt. Three days ago, you were getting married. And now you're flattered when a man gives you exotic meat? Stop. I know what he's up to. I hope so. Come on, Shannon, let's see what you got. You're natural at this. Yeah, well. So, this isn't home for you? No, just in the summers. Home is in Sarasota. And my parents have a small business there, so I help out. Oh, wow. Parents who stay together. What a concept. <laughs> <laughs> my dad left when I was a little girl. I haven't heard from him since. Mm, it wasn't what he wanted. But, um... My, my mom is not the easiest person to deal with. Oh. So what, she, uh, come out the door and change the locks, or? <laughs> uh, he'd had a choice. Let's just say I am surprised he stuck around as long as he did. I skipped out to college as soon as I could spell the word dysfunctional. Like, I can't even spell dysfunctional, so. <laughs> well, she must have done something right. I mean, you turned out pretty great. Oh, uh, stop. You, you're very good at this, you know. Good at what? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stingray City. Uh, even though they may look intimidating, and yes, they are related to sharks, they're completely harmless. If you treat them with respect and are gentle, you'll have a friend for life. Aren't they electric or something? What am I thinking? Thinking of an electric eel, and you'll be happy to know we don't have any of those. Who wants to get in the water? Come on. Oh, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Have you ever done this before? Uh, no, I, um, I petted a starfish at SeaWorld once. We have a pro here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give her some support, huh? <laughs> oh, it's so soft. <laughs> Slippery. Are you going to try it? <laughs> oh, when it's the luncheon special. <laughs> <laughs> That girl has so much confidence. Shannon's never been afraid to do anything. She sees a challenge and she dives right in. You want to feed him? Um, yeah, does he bite? They're no more dangerous than I am. <laughs> All right, let's get him in here. I wanted her to be independent, confident, everything I was. Lucky girl. Here, feed him this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who else wants to try? You're kind of handsome for a horse. I took a carriage ride through Central Park one summer. Maybe one of your relatives? Could have been. <laughs> talk to horses much, do you? Not much, and they certainly never talk back. Maybe you're just not listening hard enough. Come on, give him a pat. Oh, no. Come on. No, no, no. Come on, just give him a pat. Just, mm. just stay calm. Mm -hmm. A horse can sense fear. <laughs> Oh, See, that, that makes Stacey, two of us. Calm, calm, mm -hmm. calm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. They get nervous. See? Look mm. at that. Well, look at you. Oh, uh, yeah. You're a natural. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, the Kentucky Derby. Well, maybe. Just not in that outfit. I mean, that's, uh, that's quite a getup you've got there. Well, I'll take that as a compliment, no matter how you meant it. Look, if you ever want to go for a ride... Oh, no, I don't. Why not? Because I... Uh, well, I... there's no trick to it. Oh, yeah. All you do is just get on Thunder here, uh -huh. you tell him where to go, mm -hmm. and he goes. No, thank you. Right. I'll pass. So, um, I take it you work here? Oh, as little as possible, but I wouldn't want you to tell the boss that. Oh, no. My, my lips are sealed. <laughs> Say, um... You wouldn't happen to know where I could get a decent meal that doesn't revolve around wild boar, would you? Actually, uh, I know a great place. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And if you'd be willing to meet me out by the hotel at noon, I'd be more than happy to take you. Uh, uh, sure. Sure. You, um, you can, you can... You can get the time off, can you? Oh, I think I could arrange something. You see, the boss and me would just like this. That's just great, then. Let's, um, let's do it. My name is Marla Bates. Miss Bates? Uh, no, Marla, please. Marla. Uh-huh, and, and you are? I'm Nick. You're, you're Nick. Nick. You, you're Nick. Mm-hmm. See you at noon. Noon. Why didn't you tell me? Testing, testing. Hi. What a morning. Isn't this place incredible? This place is incredible. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Mm, I have a lunch date. With a man? It could happen. <laughs> okay, who is this Prince Charming? None other than Nick Tercel himself. We have a mutual interest in horses. Since when? Since I got an up-close and personal look at him. Woof. Wolf. Isn't that what the kids are saying these days? Well, if you're 12. You may join us if you want. Thank you, but um, I know an insincere offer when I hear one. Besides, I already have plans. I'm learning how to fish today. Adam again? Shannon, I hope you're not getting too serious. Please don't start. A mother worries. Is it a safe bet that you're the Nick who owns the hotel as well? And most of the island? Most of the island. Well, sounds impressive when you put it that way. It's not Tahiti, but if you stick around long enough, it'll grow on you. But you weren't always in the sand and surf business. No, I was raised on a working ranch just outside Flagstaff. Oh, that explains the cowboy boots. <laughs> But my parents used to bring me down here when I was a kid to these islands for a vacation. Always seemed like a safe place to come back to. What were you running from, Nick? I, I hope that's not too personal a question. No. Life got complicated. Here, it's simple. You bought your own paradise. One way to look at it. Now, I don't think I could live anywhere else. <laughs> what a life you've led. I think I could listen to you talk all day long. <laughs> ah! <laughs>
<laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I had the best time today. No, you were a natural. Mm -hmm, about that? I think that actually might be a record catch. What, smallest catch by a guest? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll, I'll see you in the morning unless you want to grab a drink or... Is it... Oh, the morning is great. Great. I will see you then. How was your day? <laughs> Good. Come see the catch. We seem like a safe place to come back to if I sort things out. Turn that off, please. What is this? You can take the girl out of the magazine, but you know the cliche. Is this Nick Tricell? Mm. Why are you taping him? He's an interesting person. Is this why you got that sudden urge to do a bonding session with me? To get some story for your magazine? True confessions. That was part of it, but it was never the only reason. And it's not some story. It happens to be possibly the cover of our 25th anniversary issue. Unbelievable. You're using this nice guy to get a jump on the competition. I don't like what you're implying. And I don't like what you're doing. Using me and using him. Everybody uses everybody, Shannon. The sooner you realize that, the less painful your life is going to be. No wonder Dad walked out on you. Shannon? I need you to take this package to town tomorrow and overnight it to my office. This should more than cover it. Consider whatever's left your tip. And make sure no one sees this before you send it. It's not something illegal, is it? No. Only personal, but I very much appreciate your discussion. Okay? Okay. Okay. Have you seen my daughter today? Yeah, you just missed her. She just went out on a ride. Could you put me on this and point us in the right direction? You ride. Well, of... Well, of all the silly questions... Oh, you are see. Oh, R.C., slow down! Oh, Shannon, oh, oh. I'm gonna take some more photos. I'll catch up later. What are you doing out here? My foot's stuck. <sighs> Shouldn't you be back at the hotel playing corporate spy? I, uh, I should have been up front with you. But I meant what I said before. It's not the only reason I came out here with you. C uh, who let you out on your own? Look at you. You're not dressed for this, and you haven't the slightest idea what you're doing on a horse. Well, what's all the fuss? There's no trick to it. You say go, and it goes. You say stop, Whoa. and it... Whoa. Whoa, and it woes. Ah. And when it runs away? Oh! Hey! Thunder! No, no, no! Come back, huh? Oh! W what do I do? <laughs> well, no! Shannon! Where are you going? Don't leave me alone here! 
Honey, wait. Take a little pity on your old mom. Wait. I'll go with you, honey. Wait. Here I come. Here I come. Well, I hope you're happy. There's not a sign of them. The writers, the hotel. Oh, sweetheart, sweetheart. I, all I wanted to do was apologize to you to make you understand. I understand, all right. And this has nothing to do with me. It was never about me. My entire life has been devoted to you. Your entire life was devoted to sending me away to schools and camps and activity groups so you wouldn't have to be bothered. Is that what you think? It's what I know, Mother. I gave you everything. Things weren't what I needed. The right clothes and the most exclusive academies couldn't make up for the fact that I needed a mother, not a corporate executive. Where is this coming from? From years of taking a back seat to your work. The drivers who hauled me around, the nannies I ate meals with, the generic birthday gifts I know your assistants picked out. That's not true. Mom, all I ever needed was you. And that's the one thing you wouldn't give me. Well, it's going to be dark in about an hour. We're going to have to camp out. Camp out? Okay. You're right. We'll, um, we'll make a tent or something. Someone's bound to notice we're gone. Probably not till morning. What are we going to eat while we're out here? Huh. Ah, try this. Dried fish? The original islanders practically lived on it. So can you, princess. The time you were seven years old and you built a fort in the living room and you called it Fort Shannon and we toasted marshmallows over the 60 watt bulb in the fake fireplace. <laughs> remember? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I remember. I'm just surprised that you do. This isn't bad. Your father always wanted to bring me here. To the Caribbean, you know, love the ocean. And I had this dream that I was gonna be a famous artist like Gauguin and run off to my own Tahiti and paint the natives. You <sighs> yeah. wanted to be an artist. I didn't tell you this? Oh, yeah. I, I used to paint watercolors, and your father was my first customer. Boy, Larry was so handsome. And he had his own car. And it was love at first sight, at least for me. Does it still hurt that much? Sometimes. What was that? Mm, it's probably a wild dog. Is the wild dog our friend? Mm, depends. On what? On how hungry he is. So terribly amusing. Oh. 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 Is it morning already? Yeah, to sleep. Really well, considering. Oh, yeah, someone's coming. Oh. 
Go! Over here! Hello! Over here! Over here! Hello! Right here! Oh, we are so happy to see you. You have no idea. You know, I had half my staff out looking for you the whole night. Now, now, I know you're not happy at having to come and find us, but Thunder ran away, and by the... Yeah, well, you don't have to explain to me. Just get in. We'll send someone back to my horses. Come on, get in. Are we still on for dinner? No, something's come up. And I think this belongs to you. This was supposed to... Ryan noticed the address. He, uh... He thought I should see it. You know, I can explain. Yeah, well, I'm sure you can. Styling magazine. Tape is labeled Nick Part One. <laughs> what else do I need to know? Do you want me to leave? No, Miss Bates. You paid for the time. You might as well stay and enjoy it. We'll just, uh, stay out of one another's way for the duration. You know what I mean. Close the door, please. Well, I'm not going to tell you I told you so. Why not? That's what I'm thinking. I haven't been honest with anyone, and now I'm paying the price. What would it take to get your trust again? Oh, I'm not sure that's possible. I love you. Huh. Oh, kind of have to. You're my mother. Trust you? I know you too well. That's your cover story. I'll get another one. It's only a magazine. Here, join me. <laughs> come on, come on, get busy here. <laughs> what have you done with my mother? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy it at first, this new attitude of hers. But she was determined to prove me wrong. And I had to hand it to her. She pitched right in, literally, like she was possessed with the spirit of John Wayne. By way of Paris Hilton, maybe, but she was trying, and I had to give her credit. You know that picture about aliens taking over human bodies? It was like that. I mean, this was so not my mother. <laughs> but whoever she was, <laughs> she was beginning to grow on me. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I never knew peace and quiet could be so relaxing. It's been years since I fell asleep without phones ringing and the television on. Who knew I could? <laughs> yeah, you've been a pretty good sport these past few days. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I love it when you say things like that. Well, you know, it's, it's not easy letting go. I never really got the hang of that. Do you ever think about Dad? Wonder where he is? Sweetheart, I know you think that I did something to drive him away, but that's not how it was. We were too young, and we realized it too late. There's no one to blame, sweetie. I remember the day he left. 
I had a cold and uh, I came home early from school and he was at the door with his bags packed. He seemed so sad I had to see him going. He said you thought it was best for us all. He said that? That it was my idea? I cried for weeks. And you wouldn't even let me comfort you. You only wanted him. I still miss him. Every day. Oh, I'm sure he misses you too. And I know he'd be proud of you. That's in the past. Can we please just leave it there? Start fresh. Yeah. Yeah. As long as from now on it is total honesty between us, okay? Okay. So. So, honestly, <laughs> I think that you should try to patch things up with Nick. Oh, there's no hope with that. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, you could start with an apology. And I know just how to do that. So, this came for you. Should I have it sent to your office? No, just put it back there. Come in. This was at the hotel front desk. That's right where I left it. Everything that you think about my mother is true. At least it was. Actually, I, I don't think about it, Shad. Now, if you'll uh, excuse me, some things to do, and when you go, if you can take that with but you. Ever I... since I can remember, she has pushed and fought and, and done whatever it took to get ahead in business. God, I always thought it was such a shame that she robbed us of all that time we could have spent together, but she's changing out here. At least she's trying to. Well, then, in that case, I'm happy for you both. She destroyed the tape. Yeah. It was a cover story she was desperate for, and she gave that up. And that should tell you something. Shannon, did your mom send you out here to tell me this? Hmm. She has no idea I'm here. No, I'm no match for the elephant that shows her paintings at the Guggenheim. Oh, that elephant, she's just a flesh of the pan. Highly overrated. Absolutely. Mm Heard -hmm. you threw that tape away. Shannon told you? Yes. 
Well, well, she'll be telling people my real age. Would you rather I didn't know? Yes. I mean, about the tape. Oh, oh I couldn't use it now after all that happened. Not that I didn't want to. I'm not a saint. Really? Just not quite as heartless as you imagine. Well, that's good to know. You're not dancing. No. No. You don't want to see why. I don't. No. Because when I was good at it, I wasn't good at it. Right. I just embarrassed myself. Now, that's actually something I'd like to see. What, again? Well, if you fall, I'll catch you. Well, those who wouldn't blame you if you didn't. You gotta trust me, don't you? Put one hand here. <laughs> now we stay. Oh, you're a natural. Here we go, sir. Have a nice day. Shannon? Jack, what the hell are you doing here? Well, nice to see you too. Who's the surfer? This is Adam, Adam Jack. And you are? Her fiance. My former fiance. The fiance that walked out. The fiance that made a big mistake and is here to get you back. I really need to talk to you. Oh, I'm dancing. You don't just pull a lady off the dance floor, all right? Here's how it works. You ask her nice, and if she wants to go, she'll go. Okay? I'm sorry. Hey, I really need to talk to you. That's all I want to do. Please, I came all this way. Oh, from Switzerland? It gave me time to clear my head and, and, and figure things out. I know what I want now. At least hear what I have to say. <laughs> Moon will be up soon. I hear it's gonna be a full one. You know, it's really hard to imagine that you walked up there. Yeah, sometimes it seems like a dream. When I went up there, my perspective changed. Uh-huh. And I didn't want to come back and just do ads for running shoes and for orange juice nah. but you were a hero all the parades and headlines yeah well walking away from that nothing easy about it you know it just it seemed people wanted to know what i was doing and the the more that i denied the rumors the darker they got so I just had to get away somewhere and find myself. So you chose here. Can you blame me? No, I can't. Well, that's it. Wouldn't have made much of a story anyway, I guess. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nick. What are you sorry about? No matter how many lies I told myself, no matter how scared I got, there was one fact that never changed, one argument I couldn't get around. I love you. Where were those words when I needed to hear them? Do you have any idea what you put me any idea at all. <laughs> I am on a honeymoon.
with my mother. I'm not leaving here without you. I mean it. I'm going to stay. And I'm going to fight for you. As long as it takes. Suit yourself. I have to get back to the dance. Well. Can I help you? You have my bag. And I'm gonna need a room for a few nights. Put it on this. Sorry, but we're full. <laughs> okay. I get it. Last minute and all. Just charge whatever you want. Let me try this again. We have a waiting list, eight months long at the moment, but if you'd like to make a reservation... Are you telling me there's nothing? No room, no bed, no anything? I see we don't have a language barrier after all. Here's your bag. Now if you'll excuse me. Say hello. Morning. What? What time is it? Oh, I'd say it's about time for you to start moving on. Excuse me? Well, this here's a private beach, son. You can't sleep here. It's okay. I'm a guest from the hotel. I, I mean... I have a room. I, I paid for a room. It's just occupied. Well, why don't you try to sort that out by tonight, okay? A good one. Want that? You look like hell. Nice to see you too, Mrs. Bates. Shannon told me you were here. What'd you do? Sleep on the beach? I had no choice. I'm lost without your daughter. I, I can't eat, I can't sleep. I knew I didn't like you. You're just like my ex. Excuse me? You don't care what she's been through. It's all about you. What you want and how you feel. <laughs> just because you can't hold on to your husband, don't blame me. What? I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't blame you. You are who you are. Nothing can change that. But I am not letting Shannon make the same mistake I did. Mrs. Bates, I know you're upset at me. And I'm sorry. But I'm determined to make things right. I mean, doesn't everybody deserve a second chance? I mean, come on. Shannon isn't here. What is it you want? Right now, I would like to use your shower, if you don't mind. I did pay for it, after all. I think your parents did that. OK. Lock up when you leave. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I needed that. <laughs> Missed you at the island excursion this morning. Yeah, I needed some time to think. Mm. You and the uh, preppy a thing again? Why would it bother you? I'm just saying I don't like to see people get taken advantage of, that's all. And you think he's taking advantage of me? He got a good heart. He knows that. It wouldn't be hard. I wanted him. Yeah, but I certainly didn't need him. What about now? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just not sure I could ever really trust him again. Kind of like your mom with your dad. Hey, why don't you get changed and we'll get in some serious beach time this afternoon? How's that sound? Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> okay. That's the end about 20 minutes. Sounds good. Oh! Hey, buddy, watch it. <laughs> Sorry.
Mom, it's me! You gonna be long? What are you doing here? Taking a shower. You wanna join me? I thought you left. I tried to tell you yesterday. I'm here to win you back and I'm not taking no for an answer. Don't make me call someone. Shannon, I'll do whatever you want. Name it. I'll, I'll, I'll crawl, I'll, I'll beg. Stop it. There, there's nothing you can say. What if I said I could find your father for you? No one knows where he is. Hmm. Not even your mother? No. She knows I would do anything to see him if she had any idea where he but was. But she does. Your mother knows exactly where he is. She's known all along. I, I think I, I twisted it back there in the surf. Okay. Well, you let me know if this hurts. Better? Much. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, oh. That's much better. Hi. Hi. Hope we're not interrupting. What's wrong? I'm just wondering what happened to all that honesty we promised each other. What are you talking about? I want to know where my father is. I've always told you we don't know where your father is. No, 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 no. We don't know, but I, I hear that you do. Where would you get that idea? From me. I overheard you on the phone at the chapel in Boston. It sounded to me like you were trying to make sure that dear old dad wasn't going to be there. And I felt that I owed it to Shannon to tell her the truth. Did you keep him away? I wasn't trying to do that at all. Then you admit it. You know where he is. Sweetheart, I know you can't understand this, but I had my reasons. Where? Shannon, sweetheart. I don't want your excuses or your lies. You just tell me where he is. I want to know. I deserve to know. He runs a boat tour business in the Florida Keys. He has for some time now. That's an easy trip from here. But please don't go, darling. Not until we have a chance to talk. Stop it, Mom. Just stop. Honey. Oh, damn it. Gee, I'm sorry, Mrs. Bates. If I'd known this would have caused a problem between you and Shannon. You have no idea what you've done. But now that you have, don't you dare let her do this by herself. She needs someone there for her. Oh, God. My husband never wanted a child. He walked out one day and never came back. And I promised myself I would never depend on a man again. And I raised Shannon to be her own person, too. Don't you think she deserves to know all this? Oh, I could never tell her the details. He is her father. Yeah, but now she's assumed that you're the one to blame. Well, I didn't say it was a perfect plan. <laughs> Are you always this understanding, or is this just smoke and mirrors to make me think you're terrific? No, no tricks, nothing up my sleeves, and I'm, I'm just an ordinary guy. Oh. No, I'm not an ordinary guy. Trust me. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now she gets to the keys and she meets her father. Then what's she going to find? Ready to meet him? I've been ready all my life. Hey, can I help you? you? Guys looking for a tour? We might not be the biggest, but we are the best. 
Actually, we're looking for Larry Bates. Dad? This place is a mess. If I'd known you were coming, I could have. I, mean, I, I didn't come to see your office. So. Um, can I? Can I maybe uh, get a hug? Of course. Of course you can. You have no idea how long I've been dreaming of this. Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. This is just fine. Uh, Grace. Hey, Grace, come and meet my daughter. What? My daughter. Oh, it certainly is. You look just like those photos your mom sends now and then. My mom sends photos? This is Grace, and sit down, please. So, you must be Jack. Yeah, that's right. My, the new husband. But you knew I was getting married? Yeah, I heard something about it. Something? Your mother called a couple of times trying to get this guy to haul his ass up to Boston for the ceremony. We had a huge tour that day, and weddings always bring back bad memories for me. But congratulations. Good-looking guy. Thanks, but... Uh... We're not married. It didn't happen. Well, thank God for that. I mean, I think you're both better off for it. I do. Romantic guy, my Larry. I fell for that trap once. Never again. You walked out. It was your idea. Well, it's not something I'm proud of. I'm sure your mother drives it into your head every day, you know, fills your head with all kinds of junk about me. Maybe she never said a thing. Maybe she let me think it was all her fault. And you were still some... Knight in shining armor. Janet, let's get down to it. Why are you here? If it's about money, I can barely make ends meet. No, I just wanted to see you. I have made so many excuses for you over the years. Why you never wrote, why, why you never tried to get in touch. I even imagined that Mom was hiding your letters, trying to keep us apart. Dad, 
Okay, I get it. And I know what you want to hear, Shannon. But the fact is, some of us aren't cut out to be tied down by wives and children, and that's just the way I am. It doesn't make me a bad person. Damn it! Didn't you once wonder where I was or what I was doing? I... Me? No. Because there was never a doubt in my mind you'd be fine. And look at the way you turned out. You are your mother's girl. Yes. Yes, I am. I just didn't realize it till right now. Don't be like this. Don't go away mad. I'm not going away mad. I'm just going away. Let's go pack up your stuff and head back to Boston, okay? Shannon? How many chances did Mom have to tell me the truth? To tell me what a jerk he is. And not once did she let me think he was anything but wonderful. Wait a minute. You heard what he said. Well, if you read between the lines, your mother was demanding and self-centered and just, just drove him away. Okay, he's nobody's idea of father of the year, but he did do his best. Taxi! You what? Did you hear the same conversation I just heard? I got that he obviously wasn't ready to get married and she just pushed him into it. Well, I guess you can relate to that. I don't condone what he did. I'm just saying he had his reasons. Take your hand off. Hey, I'm just trying to point out that your mother isn't totally blameless here. Actually, it looks like you struck out twice, uh, parentally speaking, but you still have me, sweetie. Now, move on. Okay, I need you to listen really, really carefully, Jack. I don't want you. I can't leave you alone here. Oh, only at the altar, I guess. A person makes one little mistake. I come all this way, and this is the thanks that I get? Well, welcome to your life, Shannon. You're just like your mother. And that might just be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Please go, driver. Yes, ma'am. Whoa! My baby, my sweet baby. <laughs> Desk tells me you're checking out. Shannon's not coming back. And I've embarrassed myself enough for one vacation. Well, I uh, thought this might be something you'd like. I just hope that you can read the writing. Uh, my teachers always said I should have been a doctor. <laughs> what is this? It's my story. In my own words, of course. I figure now is as good a time as any to get it out, get it behind me, and then maybe I can move on with my business and not have to look over my shoulder every five minutes for reporters. The vultures. Are you sure you want me to have this? Well, uh, that's only if you're still interested. Thank you, Nick. Really sorry you're leaving. And if you ever you find yourself out this way again, well... And if you ever get to the city... You know, if we use these pages, 
We're gonna need an updated photo to go with them. I'm, I've never been very comfortable in front of a camera, I'll warn you. Hey, I know some terrific professionals in California. We can put you together with one of them. Los Angeles? Yeah. Well, that's where I did my last TV interview. Maybe this is the time, huh? You know, they, they broadcast in color now. Hmm. Hey. Hey. What happened to uh, Mr. Wright? Mm. Yeah, the, the honeymoon is definitely over. Well, you know what? I enjoyed the time that we spent together. Uh, the pleasure was definitely mine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, aren't we the civilized ones, hmm? No harm, no foul. Smile, shake hands. <laughs> I was never much for handshakes. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> I should go up and see my mother. I'll walk in. Come on. So, uh, what's next for you? Well, summer's almost over, so I'll go back to the mainland and back to my real life, I guess. Ready for that scuba lesson you promised? Be right there. Take care of yourself. Well, like my mom always taught me, if I don't, who will? Enjoy your swim. I will. Mm. Well, hi. I didn't expect you to come back. Did you see your father? Yeah. How was he? Not the man I thought he was. Sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you ever tell me? Because you didn't need to know the truth. You needed a father. And you needed him to be a hero. And I wanted to give you that. Mom. I love you. I really, really love you. Have I ever told you that? <laughs> Not like that. Oh. 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 And I love you too, sweetie. Oh. 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 Are you leaving? Yeah. I don't want them to discover that they can run that magazine without me. How about you? <clears throat> well, <laughs> I think you could make room for a guest, maybe, till I get a job and figure a few things out. You know I could. to Los Angeles, and I landed a job with a major publishing company. And ladies and gentlemen, I have one more thing to say. I love this cover. I love this issue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, it helps to have friends in high places, but it all worked out. Happy endings aren't just for fairy tales. Wow. Well, I made it. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Nice to see you. Very handsome. Handsome.
them all the way down to his house. <laughs> Thank you. Nick's spending more time in L.A. now, and Mom and I are much closer. Thanks to the best honeymoon of my life. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <clears throat> See you around. See you. The best one so far, anyway. But if there should be another one in the future, I know where we...